Radiation therapy is an integral part of the treatment of many types of pediatric cancers and tumors. And the concern about children is that children themselves are more sensitive to standard uh, effects of radiation therapy. A child's body is still developing and growing, and one of the known side effects of radiation is that it slows down the growth and development of anything it touches. And so in a child who has uh, either brain tissue that's still developing or bones that are not fully developed, they can have adverse effects such as the bones not growing and if you can imagine a child who gets radiation to the hip, if one leg doesn't grow as fast as the other, can have significant side effects in the future. Likewise to a child whose brain is still developing, if one damages that, they can have significant uh, problems in their schooling and education and cognitive abilities as one grows up. What proton therapy is, is a very special form of radiation that allows us to pinpoint where we're delivering the radiation so that the areas that don't need to get radiation are avoided uh, from getting this excess radiation that could potentially cause these side effects. Uh, typically we think about tumors that are uh, localized in one area and one is able to give radiation just to that area. So for tumors of the brain are very commonly seen in children, those can be very well treated for the most part by proton therapy by focusing the radiation just where we need it to go and avoiding the healthy brain tissue that's still developing in children. Likewise, tumors that are in the main trunk of the body or the pelvis or the belly, those are areas that have a lot of sensitive organs such as the heart or lungs or in the pelvis, reproductive organs that can be damaged by standard radiation treatments. And so proton therapy can be very well used for any of those organs. So proton therapy is uh, very beneficial in tumors that are next to or near critical structures. So the uh, pediatric proton survey that we have conducted over the past several years is an attempt to categorize and define what are the types of cancers and tumors that are treated with proton therapy in the United States. Uh, every year we sent out a survey asking some very special, specific questions about what are the types and numbers of patients treated in these uh, proton centers. Uh, what we found was that there has been an increasing number of pediatric patients that have been treated with proton therapy, and that goes along very well with what is known about protons being especially beneficial in the pediatric population. For a parent who has been uh, recently told the devastating news that her child has a tumor or a cancer of some type, uh, one of the things I frequently find is that parents have a vast amount of information available to them on the internet. Unfortunately, it can be difficult to siphon through a lot of that information. And so one thing that is a great resource for parents is a, a foundation that was started by a parent who called the Pediatric Proton Foundation that is aimed to help educate patients and their families about what are the types of treatments available for cancers and specifically what proton therapy is and how it plays a role in the treatment of children with uh, cancer. This organization is also uh, geared to helping parents navigate uh, at times the uh, difficulty of getting uh, insurance coverage, which in the past has been an issue and fortunately over the last several years uh, that's becoming less of an issue, uh, but uh, has resources devoted to helping parents navigate that. In addition, of course, uh, the uh, parents um, or the child's uh, doctors, uh, specifically oncologists, are a very good resource being able to help direct the care of the children. And uh, not all children and not all types of tumors and cancers are suitable candidates for proton therapy. Um, one of the things that a child's oncologist can help with is determining whether or not uh, this is a type of treatment that could potentially be of use. By definition, a pediatric tumor or cancer is, is something that's rare. It's um, not something that happens a lot in the community. And because of that, uh, pediatric oncology cases tend to be sent to one uh, of a few uh, centers that have particular expertise in the treatment of pediatric uh, cancers. Um, those centers will have expertise not only in the medical oncology side, but will also have surgeons who are involved in the case many times, as well as a radiation doctor who specializes in pediatric treatment. Because pediatrics are uh, more sensitive to the radiation treatments. Having a radiation doctor who is uh, accustomed to treating pediatric cancers can be very helpful. 
those doctors are also much more likely to be aware of the benefits and the roles of proton therapy in the treatment of a child with this diagnosis. So that's one thing that I would uh, tend to ask parents to, or tend to, to convey to parents, to ask what is the experience of the treating team in, in treating their child's type of cancer. Um, other questions can be what is the knowledge base of the treating team to what proton therapy is and many centers uh, although they may not have a proton therapy center right there, we'll have relationships built up with uh, proton centers throughout the country as it is because of the uh, recognition that proton therapy has special benefits for the pediatric population.